Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open five theme boosters from Corset 2020. And with me to do the pack blessing duties, we have a whole cast of characters here. One for each colour. We're going to hope that the blessings get us the crazy pulls. So let's move these guys aside, check these out. We'll start with my favourite colour, red. Okay, so we get a red theme booster, Chandra on the cover, includes 35 cards. Okay, so enhance your red deck with 35 cards from Corset 2020, including at least one rare or mythic rare card. Okay, add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck. Okay, so this is a, I guess, a fun way to build some decks. So let's get stuck into it here, see what we pull. Uh, interesting packaging. Okay, so we've got the mountain there. Let's take a look. We've got a sealed pack. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be a randomized selection here. And let's see what we get. So we have Reduce to Ashes Act of Treason. Goblin Smuggler! There he is, smuggling goblins. We love the goblins here on MTG Impact. Mask of Immolation, Tectonic Rift, Infuriate, Maniacal Rage, Anvil Rot, Raptor, Act of Treason again. Okay, so... Yeah, you can get duplicates, alright. Prismite, Cryptic Caves, Diamond Knight, Infuriate again, Reduced to Ashes, Act of Treason. Another Goblin Smuggler, Mask of Immolation, Tectonic Rift, Infuriate. Okay, so there's even some play sets here. Maniacal Rage again, Anvil Roar, Raptor. What a surprise, Act of Treason, Pack Mastiff. A couple of those guys. Fire Elemental, Retributive Wand, Pack Mastiff again. A couple of those. Lavakin Brawler. So, yeah, this definitely looks like you could uh, just create a deck from it, add some lands and get cracking, so maybe good for new players. Let's see what we've got here. Scampering Scorcher, Goblin Bird Grabber, yep, love the Goblin Scorch Spitter, Chandra's Spitfire, Stone Golem, and the rare, yes, Lotus Field. Very cool, land has Hexproof, enters Battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield, sacrifice two lands, and you can tap to add three mana of any one color. So I would say this particular pack was a win. So these are going for about $7.50 each. You're not always going to pull something quite as good as this. And let's see what else we got. An add and little tip card here on your turn. Parts of the turn. All right. And I just noticed we never even... We never did the pack blessing, Chandra, and it is pack best blessing a lie? Are you telling me that it's a lie after all these years? Okay, let's move on. This time, this time, Jace. There we are. Bless the packs. I can hear everyone screaming, no, you didn't bless the pack. Okay, okay. So we've got blue here. Let's check it out. And I actually haven't opened any of these. Um, I know they've done these theme boosters on previous sets, but I figured it wasn't that interesting. But I know some people have been asking about these, so I thought I would check them out. Let's take a look at this one. Blue, we have Stone Golem, Aether Gust, Convolute, Frost Lynx, Hardcover, Moat Piranhas, Salvager of Ruin. Okay, so they've got some colorless things there. Sleep Paralysis, Zephyr Charge, Vial of Dragonfire, Renowned Weaponsmith, Befuddle, Octo Prophet, Negate, Portal of Sanctuary, Frost Links again, Boreal Elemental, Portal of Sanctuary again, Anticipate. So they even mix these around a little bit. Colossus Hammer. Sages Row, Denizen, Negate, Scholar of the Ages, Spectral Sailor, Retributive Wand, Winged Words, we saw that one in the uh, previous set, that Wand, Prismite, Pattern Matcher, Fairy Miscreant, a couple of those dudes, In fact, three of those, Metropolis Sprite, 
Heart Pisser Bow, Captivating Jaya, and the rare is Leyline of Anticipation. Nice. Enchantment for four. It's not the craziest Leyline, but still pretty decent to get one of these. If Leyline of Anticipation is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. You may cast spells as though they had flash. Alright, and the usual tip card there. So that is pretty good. Moving right along, we will have a Johnny bless the pack there, like so. And have you picked these up before, either this set or a previous one? Leave a note in the comments. What do you think? Did you actually start building decks around these? Um, how did that work out for you? I'm curious. And did you get these same cards as I have here? That's another thing. I think it's supposed to be all random but maybe maybe the rare or mythic is the random one next we have soul mender dawning angel moment of heroism daybreak chaplain cryptic caves again another soul mender steadfast century moment of heroism again pacifism love the artwork on that one gauntlets of light raise the alarm griffin protector vial of dragonfire squad captain Retributive one, so that one's been in every deck so far. Inspiring Captain, I wouldn't call that random. Meteor Golem, Master Splicer, Devout Decree, Dawning Angel, Battalion Foot Soldier, a couple of those, in fact, three of those. Loyal Pegasus, Anvil Wrought Raptor, God's Willing, Rule of Law, Griffin Sentinel, Scuttle Mutt, Disenchant. Aerial Assault, Ancestral Blade, Angelic Gift, and a Mythic! Yes, Ajani! <laughs> the blessings paid off, mate! Okay, so Ajani, Strength of the Pride, Legendary Plans Walk, Ajani, 5 loyalty for 4, his plus 1. You gain life equal to the number of creatures you control, plus the number of planeswalkers you control. Minus 2, credit to 2 white cat soldier creature token, named Ajani's Pride, mate, with. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on the Johnny's Primate. His zero ability if you have at least 15 life more than your starting life total. Exile a Johnny, Strength of the Pride on each artifact and creature your opponent's control. Fantastic. What? We get to... Whoa. Okay, we get a rare as well. Safara Sky's Blade, Legendary Creature Angel 7747. So that's the one... I've had on the playmat past couple of days. You may pay white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying. Rather than pay the smells, mana cost it has flying lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. All right. And of course, yep, this little tip card. So did we, I thought we only got one. We only got one rare in these others and a mythic in this one. Have you seen that before? Very unusual. I thought we were only supposed to get one. Okay, next we'll have Nissa do the pack blessing since we don't have a Vivian Funko Pop. Funko, you better get on that quickly. People demand it. Oh, don't steal. Alright, let's dig in here. See what we get. And what is the craziest pull you've had out of one of these theme boosters? I didn't think it was possible to get crazy pulls, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, we have Sedge Scorpion, Anvil Wrought, Raptor, Mammoth Spider, Manifold Key, Plummet, Woodland Champion, Plummet again, Veil of Summer, Feral Invocation, Wolf Rider's Saddle, Greenwood Sentinel, Heart Piercer Bow, Wolfkin Bond, another Greenwood Sentinel, Scuffle Mutt, Silverback Shaman, Brightwood Tracker, Gift of Paradise, Ferocious Pup, another Saddle, Centaur Corsa, Prismite, he seems to be in every deck here, Stone Golem, or every uh, booster I should say, Feral Invocation, Pulse of Miraza, Natural End, Vorst Claw, Overgrowth Elemental, Healer of the Glade, Rabid Bite, Feral Invocation again, Pattern Matcher, Healer of the Glade again, Thicket Crasher, and the rare is not quite as crazy as those others. Nightpack Ambusher, Creature Wolf, 4-4 four, four, for 4 with Flash. Other Wolves and Werewolves you control get plus 1, plus 1 at the beginning of your end step. If you didn't cast a spell this turn, create a 2-2 two, two Green Wolf Creature Token. Alright, and of course this card. Finally, we will go with Black. So we'll get Liliana to do the Pack Blessing like so. 
fingers crossed. So the, the green one was about the only one I'm a little disappointed with so far. And let's see how we do with black. Get stuck into it with a Barony Vampire. Bloodthirsty Aerialist, I've heard that one's pretty good. Sorcerer of the Fang, Agonizing Siphon, another Vampire, another Siphon. Blood Burglar, Thought Distortion. That's me when I get the awful pulls. I'm like, what is happening here? How is this even possible? Epicure of Blood, Diviner's Lockbox. Mind rot, people. If you watch too many videos on this channel, it will rot your mind. It even says here, target player discards two cards that will rot your mind. And the only known cure is to watch even more videos. Continuing on, we have Noxious Grasp, Manifold Key, Murder, Feral Abomination, Boneclad Necromancer, Yarox Fenlurker, looks like a daddy long legs spider there, Audacious Thief, Disfigure. <laughs> You know I have warned you, people! Vial of Dragonfire, Scuttle Mutt, Anvil Rot Raptor, Undead Servant, Unholy Indenture, Fantastic Seb McKinnon artwork there, Fathom Fleet, Cutthroat, Duress, Vengeful War Chief, Sanitarium Skeleton. I just realised I don't think we got any goblins at all, did we, in the red one? Interesting. Gorging Vulture. Stone Golem, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat again, Bone Splinters, Dress, and the rare is Bag of Holding. I'll give you a Bag of Holding. This is a bit of a hosing pull here. Artifact for one. Whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard for two and tap. Draw a card, then discard a card. Four and tap. Sack this. Return all cards exiled with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. All right, and of course, the ever popular tip card. All right, so there we have it. So what do I think of this product? I think, so you're getting equivalent of, so you get 35 cards, that's maybe like two and a bit booster packs. So you figure maybe like $8. So these were $7.50 each. So I, I guess it's not too bad if you've got an affinity for a certain color here. You wanna have a mono colored deck. This could be a fun challenge thing with your friends, like you buy one of these and they get another one and uh, you see how you do, but overall I'm sort of so-so on this. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I would rather um, spend the time to build a deck that I wanted. I actually think for newer players the Deck Builders Toolkit uh, or a Planeswalker deck or, or better still one of those Challenger decks which incidentally rotate out in a couple of months. I think those are probably better products for newer players. So let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, coming up, we've got the two year anniversary of the channel, another couple of days. So we've got a fun little video planned for that one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.